Speaking of Atari, it's done cycle Atari console. Yes, oh man. This piece of crap. <laughs> this is so primitive. I don't even know what year it came out, but I'm gonna find out. Probably 1983. No, 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 no. Th that Atari's... is way, this is definitely a 70s thing. Ah, uh, well. This is probably before the Atari 2600 came out. Just wait, it's the, uh, it'll say 1983 and I'll be like, we're about to oh. find out. I'm, I'm going to, uh... What's it called? Stunt Cycle? Stunt Cycle. Well, there's an arcade version of this uh, released care. in 1976, which is the same game but black and white and has an overlay on the screen. Well, that's this even one, more primitive. This one has uh, different colors, I know that. Ah, uh, 1977. Uh, there we well, go. Well, never mind then. The same year as Star Wars. Yeah, pretty much. Just, just after uh, you play this oh game. Oh my god, there's a version of this on the 2600. I've got to find it, of just so I can recreate what I did. Yeah. Speaking of which, this game, this, uh, this thing sucks. It's... It, it, you, you have to remember that it's like pre-2600, or like right around when the 2600 was first launched. Listen, so if you're going to... it's pretty simple, and it's like... That was all they had at the time. Listen, if you're going Listen. to make a game that you need to jump over a block in order to go over, and you are physically unable to do so, then it sucks. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I didn't quite understand how you played it. This I kind of figured it out. It's something about... You have to go over it at a certain speed to make it over it. And, oh yeah, and here's another thing, and I meant to say this about the Odyssey 2 voice, and it applies here. On the Odyssey 2 voice, the speech came out of the speech module, not out of the TV. This was funny when it talked, it sounded like it was different. Same thing with this. The sound effects came out of the console itself and not the TV. Yeah, that was kind of interesting. It's like a if you play Miss Pac-Man on the Apple II. <laughs> Got it. That's kind of... It, <laughs> it's the same way. The sound comes out of the Apple II and not the TV. It's kind of interesting. It's like, it's like you, more, uh, more work for... Uh, Less reward, I guess. Yeah, but for a computer, you know, it's not necessarily for gaming. I mean, you can game on it, but it's also more for computing power and usability over gaming ability, I guess. Yeah. I'd rather have more memory and more uh, function of the computer itself than having it, you know, yell at me, <laughs> I yeah. guess. And say what I I don't know space cadet I don't know whatever it yeah, says. Whatever. Anyway, uh, this game sucks. It was a lot of fun just because I got so, to make a trailer park customs video, which yeah, we will maybe post at the end. Oh, we will. It's uh so stupid. It's hilarious. That's why I made it funny. I was like, ready, set, he went. <laughs> it's so bad. It's good, honestly. Oh yeah, totally. So, really nothing, really nothing more to say except it's there's more there's like a mo there's like different layouts I guess there's like blocks yeah you, you could have the choice between blocks and no blocks yeah no blocks was actually kind of interesting except you just ride the thing along three lines and then all of a sudden you start it start again it's kind of weird but I mean I'll probably grade this one with a B grade this one with an F that's not F bad. It's I, just. I say it's. You F think bad. it is? Yes, because wow. it's like. I mean, it's a cool have, controller, though. It's a cool controller, and I. Look, for my opinion about it, it's a good controller, right? It's a right. good like uh, you know, it speaks to you through the thing, which. Is no, it doesn't. This one doesn't talk. Well, never mind that. It does. The sound comes out of it. Is what I was saying. Well, yeah, the sound of it. The sound. It's kind it of funny. The However, the main purpose of a console or and a video game in general is to allow you to play the game. If 
something's physically not allowing you to play the game, like jump over those blocks. You know, something I, it. I figured it out. Remember, we well, figured it out one, but it's like it's it's kept on like failing. I finally got it though. You you do like I said. It's about controlling the speed of it. That's how you get over it. But yeah. it's not. It's like the maze on Mister and Mrs. Pac Man. It doesn't really make sense at first. Yeah, I mean, honestly, just gotta keep that. Just keep that speed, I guess. But overall, I mean, unless they give you in the manual, which I assume they do, but they probably explain it in the manual. I guess Atari but... had good manuals, and sometimes in their. 2600 games like i think with asteroids they provided a comic book with it or something yeah they I took mean, it so far it's hilarious but with this particular thing you can't play without this thing either right like this special handle thing no the that's the console yeah it's not separate it's built into that i don't know I, that's I just, how they were before the fairchild <laughs> channel f came along yeah, so, I, uh, I really didn't like this thing. It took way too much time. It, uh, it's not like a Tar 2600 or whatever. You could just flip the thing, like, you know, flip cartridges back in and out. You just get one game on this thing. You it's get, just... actually, you get a few different games in it. I, I forget what they were, but you get there's a switch and you can select different games. I don't know. I, I just I don't like it. It's usually like variants of the same game, but yeah, that's so, stunt cycle for you. Yeah, it's so bad. It's hilarious. Therefore, it's an F. Stay tuned.